Premier is amazing. You know, we, we started uh, about three years ago together, and now to be here tonight with this kind of reception, this kind of uh, affection from the fans is a dream come true. This evening is so incredible to have um, all of these fans and, and all of this spectacle. I think it gives a real sense of the, the kind of movie it is. I think the fans are going to find uh, many twists and turns in this film. Just when you think you can pin Loki down, he surprises you. Just when you think you know what Thor's going to do, he surprises you. And hopefully the whole movie is going to surprise people. Out of all of the Marvel films, this uh, this title has got an interesting bunch of actors that you know have all come together. I think also the storylines, you know, you're dealing with the gods and you've got to find a way to make it a human story. And I think it's a very interesting Marvel, Marvel film, you know. At this point when we, uh, we see the guys, you know, um, Loki is... He's locked in a cell. The key's been thrown away and, and, and he's uh, basically to be forgotten about. Uh, Thor's faced with a situation where he needs to recruit Loki and, and, and align the two of them uh, in order to defeat this, this enemy that's attacking them. It's the greatest enemy they've ever faced. And uh, it's his last resort, but he has no other choice. The character I play in this film is Malakin, who is the villain. Uh, he's a dark elf. He has his own language and he's nursing a grudge and he is after vengeance and world domination. It's full of action and spectacle and, and, and drama and family and perhaps most surprisingly of all, it's very, very funny. It's so fun to get to come back for a second time and work with all these amazing people. And, and this time, because I got to go to Asgard, I got to do scenes with Anthony Hopkins and Randy Russo and Tom Hiddleston, all the people I, I missed out on last time. The action's bigger, the drama's bigger, it's just, keeps going and a great continuation from where Iron Man and Avengers and Captain America all left off, you know, and I think that's what's special is all the films seem to flow into each other nicely.